Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you this beauty. We're going to be reviewing the Body Shop Matte Clay Foundation. So I've seen this out for a while. It came out in summer. I really wanted to try it because it is vegan and obviously cruelty free being Body Shop. But what did intrigue me is that it's a full coverage matte clay foundation. Now as you know I love my L'Oreal Matte Infallible Foundation, that is my go-to high street or drugstore foundation for sure. So this is a very similar, so I'm really intrigued to try this out. Another thing that intrigues me about this foundation is that it has purifying tea tree in the formulation, which is obviously going to give a clearer complexion. I do suffer with some blemishes and hormonal breakouts on my chin area. So if I can have a foundation that is the same coverage, the same finish, same price range, and pretty much the same size, There's only this is only 5ml smaller than the L'Oreal Infallible Matte, plus it's vegan and cruelty free, I might find my new go-to foundation. You never know. So on the back it says 100% vegan, formulated without petroleum, 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 I think is how you say it and mineral oil, enriched with community trade tea tree, suitable for sensitive skin and forever against animal testing. And then the bullet points below that then say matte high coverage, 24 hour long wear, 24 hour shine control, 24 hour breathable wear, promotes clearer looking skin and non pore clogging. So let's put it to the test and see if this baby is gonna be my new go-to matte foundation. So I've already prepped my skin with Nivea Day Cream and Laurie Mercier Radiance Primer. So the shade I have is Peruvian Lily 010, I think that's how you say it. So I've just put some on my brush and I'm just gonna buff it in and then go in with my beauty blender to just sink it into the skin a bit more. But this is the Real Techniques Foundation Buffer Brush. It does actually smell of tea tree. It smells really good. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going in with a foundation brush just to put it all over. And I can kind of see every bump and blemish in my skin as I'm putting it on. That may change as we blend it out a bit more. It has covered my redness quite well. I wouldn't say this is a full coverage though. So first off, you can see every pore on my face, especially on my cheek area. I feel like it hasn't actually blended out very well. So I'm gonna put a bit on my beauty blender now and go in with that on top. I feel that it blends out a lot better with the Beauty Blender. So I'm just putting a little bit on my Beauty Blender and I'm blending that out as well. I feel like I need another layer, just because it's not as full coverage as I thought it was gonna be. It does smell so good, like the tea tree in that smells so nice. And I think because it does have that, I would be more likely to wear it if I'm having like bad skin at the time. When you hear clay, you think of like the dark, swidgy, stiff clay that you use in like art class or the clay you find on riverbanks. So I did think it was gonna be really hard to blend out. Like I thought it was gonna take a lot of blending to get a smooth finish and sink it into the skin. So I am impressed that it's not as hard to blend in. I would say that it's probably about the same as the L'Oreal. I do find though that it doesn't sink into the skin, so when I'm pressing too hard with my blending bud, it's taking that layer off. You have to be really gentle and dab it into the skin. I do quite, I am quite liking the finish now. 
I do feel like you can see every pore though. So if you do have quite textured skin, this may not be the foundation for you just because you can see all your pores. But I do really like the finish. It has that slight radiant glow. It's not a complete matte. Whereas L'Oreal is a complete matte. So if you want a matte, but still with some kind of shine, like radiant shine, it's not a greasy shine or an oily shine, it is a radiant shine. Like on my cheekbones and my nose, I can see like a glow. So if you want that with a matte, then this is definitely a good foundation for that. As well, compared to the L'Oreal one, I can actually say with this Body Shop one, I don't feel I have foundation on. The L'Oreal one can be quite heavy at times, and if you go with the Total Coverage one, that is extremely heavy on your skin. This, it feels like I have just like concealer on. It doesn't feel like I have any foundation on at all and it does give a very natural skin look. It doesn't look like you have caked on a full coverage foundation. Yet again, I do debate that claim that this is full coverage. I don't feel it is full coverage. I feel that my other full coverage ones are more full coverage. I would say this is definitely a medium to full coverage. But I do think that this can be built up amazingly. It layers extremely well with layers. I have done two layers, one with a buffing brush and then one with a blending bird. And they have laid lovely on top of each other. So I have to say, I actually really like this Body Shop one. It is hard, as you all know, when you find a favorite, it is just your go-to. You buy it again and again and again, and you hate trying other things that are even slightly remotely similar. I did have that worry trying this because I do love the L'Oreal foundation so much, but I have to say, I think I have been converted. I actually think I've been converted. So I'm gonna now go and do the rest of my makeup and see how makeup layers on top of this with powders and things like that. And then I'll come back and chat to you after. So I've done my makeup and I'm back. <laughs> so today I went for a very pink Barbie look to match my hair. And on my lips, I have the Body Shop Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Tokyo Lotus 024. I love this. This is beautiful. It's so smooth and creamy. It's non-drying and they do last quite a long time. So back to this baby. Now that I have all my makeup on, I have to say I am friggin' loving this foundation. This foundation is beautiful. Like it goes on so nicely and it was a bit patchy and it was showing a lot of my skin texture. But once I started to put powder and concealer on top, I just done my exact daily routine like I do every day. Concealer under the eye, down the nose, center of the face. Powder, I just done in where I put concealer all over. I don't bake, I just brush it over when I'm doing my daily makeup. And then I done my brows normally. The brows are laid a lovely on top of the foundation because obviously I have to draw over my actual brows and a bit higher because I have zero brows. So the Anastasia Dip Brow laid lovely on top. It didn't go powdery. Like some matte foundations, they dry quite powdery. So when you then layer a liquid on top, it goes a bit patchy. That didn't happen with my brows, very impressed. My bronzer and contour went on beautifully as well and my highlight went on stunning and glowing like always. It may still not be full coverage enough for some people but it did cover my redness, it did cover my blemishes and things like that so I'm really happy and also covered all my freckles on my forehead. So in conclusion, I love this foundation. This is gonna be my new daily go-to matte foundation. I love the fact that it has tea tree oils in it. Obviously it's cruelty free and vegan, which is amazing if you are into having makeup that's cruelty free and vegan, obviously. Yeah, I love this foundation. They have so many shades as well. This is the lightest shade that I could find. So I think this 
this is the lightest shade which is zero tan but by the looks of on their website and things they do have a varied shade range so you should be able to find a shade that matches your skin if you can't find a shade that's the exact match body shop do sell droppers which make foundation lighter or darker which you can purchase separately which may help if you are really keen to try this and have this as your daily foundation so if you have tried this foundation then below let me know your thoughts did you love it did you hate it did it go with your skin type let me know I have dry skin so I was really concerned because it said a matte clay that it'd be really thick and it'd just bring up everything which it did at first but then once I laid another layer on top and started to buff it out more with a blending bag it did smooth over a tiny bit and then when I put powder over the top it was flawless so let me know did it work for your skin type maybe it did maybe it didn't I'd be really interested to know about oily skin because on the back it does say 24 hour shine control so I'm interested to see what it's like on oily skin. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And remember to click thumbs up and click down below to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.